Lecture 8. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked by the wise men, was exceedingly angry and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men, pseudo Christostom. When the infant Jesus had subdued the Magi, not by the might of his flesh, but the grace of his spirit, Herod was exceeding wrath, that they whom he, sitting on his throne, had no power to move, were obedient to an infant lying in a manger. Then by their contempt of him, the Magi gave further cause of wrath, for when king's wrath is stirred by fear for their crowns, it is a great and inextinguishable wrath. But what did he? He sent and slew all the children, as a wounded beast rends whatsoever meeteth it, as if the cause of its smart, so he mocked by the Magi, spent his fury on children. He said to himself in his fury, Surely the Magi have found the child whom they said should be king, for a king in, in fear for his crown fears all things, suspects all. Then he sent and slew all those infants that he might secure one among so many, Augustine, and while he thus persecutes Christ, he furnished an army or, or martyrs clothed in white robes of the same age as the Lord. Augustine, behold how this unrighteous enemy never could have so much profited these infants by his love as he did by his hate, for as much as iniquity abounded against them, so much did the grace of blessing abound on them. Augustine, O oh, blessed infants, he only will doubt of your crown in this, your passion for Christ. Who doubts that the baptism of Christ has a benefit for infants? He who at his birth had angels to proclaim him, the heavens to testify, and magi to worship him, could surely have prevented that these should not have died for him, had he not known that they died not in that death, but rather lived in higher bliss. Far be it Far be the thought that Christ, who came to set men free, did nothing to reward those who died in his behalf, when hanging on the cross he prayed for those who put him to death. Ravenous, he is not satisfied with the massacre at Bethlehem, but extends it to the adjacent villages, sparing no age from the child of one night old to that of two years. Augustine, the Magi had seen this unknown star in the heavens not a few days but two years before, as they had informed Herod when he inquired. This caused him to fix two years old and under, as it follows, according to the time he had inquired of the Magi. Gloss, or because he feared that the child to whom even stars ministered might transform his appearance to greater or under that of his own age, or might conceal all those of that age. Hence it seems to be that he slew all from one day to two years old. Augustine, or disturbed by pressure of still more imminent dangers, Herod's thoughts are drawn to other thoughts than the slaughter of children. He might suppose that the Magi, unable to find him whom they had supposed born, were ashamed to return to him. So the days of purification being accomplished, they might go up in safety to Jerusalem, and who does not see that one day they may have escaped the attention of a king occupied with so many cares, and that afterwards, when the kings done in the temple came to be spread abroad, then Herod discovered that he had been deceived by the Magi, and then sent and slew the children, bead, in this death of the children, the precious death of all Christ's martyrs is figured that they were infants signifies that by the merit of humility alone can we come to the glory of martyrdom, that they were slain in Bethlehem and the coasts thereof, that the persecution shall be both in Jerusalem whence the church originated and throughout the world, and those of two years old are figured. The perfect in doctrine and works, those under the age of neo, the neophyte, the, under that age, the neophytes, that they were slain while Christ escaped, signifies that the bodies of the martyrs may be destroyed by the wicked, but that Christ cannot be taken from them.